Robert, could you tell me what was the aim of the exhibition? Well, the aim of the exhibition is to present a different side of Richard Avedon or a different vision of Richard Avedon um, through the lens of his work in France, which is some of his most important work. And I've always felt a little um, suffocated by the presentation of Avedon in a kind of a white cube, uh, stuffy way, which, which comes in part from Avedon's burning desire to be thought of as a real mm. artist. You know, today, obviously, photography is part of the big tent of contemporary art, but uh, during Avedon's life, it was, you know, consigned to the ghetto of, quote, fine art photography, unquote. And, you know, most critical discussions of photography uh, never rose above the idea of is photography truth, you know, which we've moved way beyond since, about, since about 1977. So uh, I, I wanted to show that Avedon was very much of a, um, of a hybrid creator who moved with great facility through um, magazine work, uh, moving image work, um, publicity photos, and that later in life, because of his obsession with his posterity, he started to suppress all these elements from his uh, presentation. And of course, he was very powerful and very rich and was surrounded by people who uh, reinforced these tendencies. And um, he, for example, in the Whitney show in 1994, he decreed that there should be virtually no fashion pictures in it. Ah, really? Which, which is crazy. Um, and Avedon was way too focused uh, on having monographic expositions in places like the Museum of Modern Art. One of the things that I discuss in the catalog essay is that um, one of his most interesting shows was at the Carnegie Biennial and uh, in, in like 1993 and of his photographs at the Brandenburg uh, Gate. But speak about what we are seeing here today. Okay, what are we seeing here today? We're seeing a photography exhibition <laughs> that is about uh, a movie, a book, and a magazine. Ah. Okay, and the photographs are arranged around this kind of multimedia voyage, starting with Funny Face, where you, I, as I said before, I have tried to extract what is Avedon from the film without undermining what is Donnan, but just trying to show <clears throat> Donnan being, the, you know, the real auteur of the, of the film, but trying to show Avedon's very significant contribution to uh, photography and film. Uh, the moment at which the freeze frames were taken with a camera hookup is one of the key moments in the history of the relationship of photography to the moving image. Oh. 